Hey, how's everybody doing tonight? Welcome to the show. Welcome back to the Limestone Limelight this week on CFRC 101.9 FM. I'm here with some members of Some Giant. How's it going tonight? Very well, thank you. Great. Good, good. So we're going to hear some tunes from you tonight, talk about the band a little bit. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I haven't had the pleasure of seeing you guys yet, but one of my friends introduced me, like I'm going to say like a month and a half, oh, two awesome. months ago. And... Uh, like, uh, I know you, mm -hmm. I know you, Kurt, and I know Sean, kind of, but, uh, yeah, the rest of the members I do not know. That, that's okay. We're not as important. Well, no. I, <laughs> that's what drummers always say. Yeah. They're, they're just sitting in the back, having a good time, beating their pots. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I was thinking we'll get in, we have a live performance. Mm -hmm, you we guys do. were at Homegrown? Yes, uh, at Blue Martini on May 5th. Yeah. Nice. And we actually weren't aware that, um that performance was being recorded so a couple weeks later that was a pleasant surprise when the audio was sent to us <laughs> oh, and we were really um impressed with the um production value and audio yeah. quality nice yeah like i've been to blue martini a couple times i've seen like trevor walsh there on thursday nights mm -hmm. and yeah i didn't think it was going to be as like acoustically pleasing yeah but it, the building isn't bad at all no oh not at all yeah, i like I really it. like that venue mm -hmm. yeah i like it a lot yeah Cool. So uh, the song's Oblivion, right? It's yes, on. Sir. It's on the album. Mm -hmm. We're going to listen to the whole album later on. Excellent. So it's going to be great. But yeah, here's Oblivion live from Blue Martini, from Homegrown. Here we go, guys. For a live recording, that is really, really good. Yeah, yeah. Was it off the soundboard or? Yeah, it was. Then uh, a gentleman by the name of uh, James Mulvale, he mixed the the stems, the individual tracks, and yeah, we we're pleasantly surprised by yeah. how clean and crisp it sounds for a live recording. Yeah, it's it's really nice. Like, I was like, that has to be off a soundboard. That sounds so yeah. like. It sounds like a studio, basically, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's really, really nice, yeah. And yeah, like we mentioned before, um, yeah, we weren't aware that that was being recorded. It, it was filmed as well, which we also weren't aware of. <laughs> and there was other surprises that night. Like, they had uh, members of the uh, Live Artists Guild who attend different performances around town and do live sketches of the performers. So they were present as well, so... Yeah. That's nice. That sounds like an interesting night. It was. It really was. Lots of different forms of art coming together. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah. So do you guys have any shows coming up soon? Um, no, we're kind of on a bit of a, a break right now. Like, we've been really active for the last few months. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, we did a private event last week at Roswell Rehearsals um, and uh, had that performance recorded as well. And we're um, planning to release a live album, including... Um, recordings from both uh, Homegrown as well as the Roswell performance, and that'll be released on September 17th, which will mark uh, the one-year anniversary of the band. Nice. Yes. Nice. Yeah. A little anniversary present for the friend, mm -hmm. for the fans and the, and the band. So between now and then, we're most, mostly just focusing on making the rounds with like uh, different radio stations and media outlets. Um, yeah. Then in October, I think we're hoping to start playing again. Yeah. yeah. Nice. That's and hopefully more uh, out-of-town shows, actually. Well, that's always good to kind of expand your mm -hmm. venue horizon, you know? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. 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 Nice. So uh, I got a couple more tracks lined up for the album. Excellent. I got uh, Abandoned mm -hmm. and Draw the Line. I'm going to throw those on. Excellent. Give the people some more, some giant. Yes, please. Yeah, oh. let's do it. <laughs> okay, so here you guys go. Thanks for tuning in to CFRC 101.9 FM. Here's some more, some giant with Abandoned and Draw the Line.
right, welcome back. That was Some Giant with Abandoned and Draw the Line, who are also live in studio in case you're just tuning in. How's it going, guys? It's going well, thank Still you. Still going good. Yes. Nice. That's excellent. Excellent. So I see you have a Voodoo Rock Fest yes. shirt on. Yes, I do. Nice. Are you planning on attending? Um, I'm... I'm hoping to, yeah, yeah. If, if things work out. Yeah, I'm, nice. I'm really interested in the Saturday of the festival because they have the Alice in Chains tribute and Nirvana tribute, and a great band from Montreal called The Damn Truth is playing that that night as well. Yeah, they were at the first year of uh, Voodoo. Yes, they were. Nice. Fantastic band. Yep. Yeah. Now, uh, are they a grunge grunge band? Kind no, of like like a bluesy classic rock and yeah, place. yeah, like solid rock. Yeah. Pa- okay. Powerful enough. female vocals. Yep. Yeah. Nice, nice. Great band. That's yeah. awesome. I was just figuring with the rest of the lineup. It's like yep. a, all those grunge cover bands. Mm-hmm. Finish it off with like, mm-hmm. but no, that's awesome. That's great. Her uh, voice kind of reminds me of uh, Janis Joplin. Yeah, yeah. A, a, a touch Ooh. of it. Yeah. yeah. That's that is great. Yep. That is great. So how did you guys all meet up? Well, Martin and I used to be in a band called Fossils and Gospels, and we were mm-hmm. in that band for over a year. This is true. Yes, <laughs> that is true. <laughs> then um, when that band ended, I actually posted on Facebook that I had been writing new material and was interested in you know, collaborating with people and you know, uh, creating a new band. And uh, Martin expressed interest, as did our bassist, Justin Brake, who used to be in a band called Haze Code. And mm-hmm. uh, Fossils and Gospels and Hayes Code would play shows together pretty, pretty frequently. Mm-hmm. And uh, I've known our singer Sean Gall for quite a while because he used to be in the psychedelic funk band uh, Shishlang. Yeah. And when I was with Terrestrial and Fossils and Gospels, we did shows with them, and there's uh, you know some cor- camaraderie that existed yeah. mm-hmm. between those yeah. bands, and a mutual respect was kind of established. And uh, yeah, mm-hmm. shortly before Martin, Justin, and I got together and started jamming and uh, fleshing out the ideas. Um, Sean and I actually collaborated on a recording project. Uh, I recorded all, all the music and sent it to him, and he wrote and recorded the vocals, and uh, we we're pretty satisfied with uh, the end result. So one night we ran into each other at the mansion, and um, naturally it kind of came up in conversation, like, who are you playing with now? Mm-hmm. And um, I mentioned the project that Martin, Justin, and I had started. He expressed interest. Uh, a couple weeks la- weeks later, once we kind of felt more comfortable with the material, we invited him to a rehearsal. And it wasn't so much an audition. Like, I love his voice. So if mm-hmm. he wanted to be in the band, <laughs> yeah, he got the gig. And, uh, yeah, he was impressed with what we were doing. And we've been together since. I think the first time we were in a room together was September 17th of 2017. So, mm-hmm. yeah. Nice. That's awesome. Yeah. Like, like I said earlier, like, I met you, like, oh, like nine years ago, probably, through, yeah. like, Scott. Yeah, you were one of the first people I met when I moved to Kingston, yeah. actually. Yeah. yeah. Oh, fair enough. Uh, Crazy. Yeah, he's actually moving back from I, I saw that on Facebook. Yeah, I'm France. quite excited. Yeah. I haven't seen him in a long time. Like, we kept in contact a bit through Facebook. But, mm-hmm. yeah, he was in France, owned, owned a restaurant, yeah. had a kid. And, Crazy, man. He yeah. grew up. Yes, he did. He moved away and grew up. And he's done well. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but, yeah, like, I remember being over there, and, like, it was a very musical mm-hmm. household. Like, everybody was always doing something musical yep. at some point in time. Mm-hmm. And then, like, first time I saw Sean was at Tommy's when him and Ricky used to do open mic nights and, like, oh, rock. Ricky sub- Branch, yes. Yeah. And rock like sublime tunes mm-hmm. and yeah uh, like and I've seen I've, I've seen fossils and gospels once yeah so I I've definitely seen that. you before mm-hmm. so I think I've seen most of the members of the band oh cool which is good but not yeah, the first time I heard Sean sing actually um, I was just wandering around downtown kind of aimlessly as I used to do <laughs> and I, I heard a voice <laughs> and he he was busking like blocks away. And you could just, he, he can really project. He can. So, he, uh, he's got a powerful set of vocal cords on him. Yeah. So I had to discover, you know, where, <laughs> where is that voice coming from? Who is this person? And yeah, it, it was Sean. Just follow the voice. I didn't approach him or say anything. I just kind <laughs> of watched from a distance. <laughs> and, yeah. Just awkwardly. And that was the yeah. beginning. That was the beginning. Of it was, all. Yeah. And look at you now. You're in a band yeah. pumping out great jams. Oh, thank you. Yeah. No, thank you. Like... You, you're we should welcome. be thanking you for <laughs> giving us some music, guys. Um, but yeah, maybe jump into a couple more songs. Awesome. Come back, talk sure. a little bit more. Sounds good. I got uh, in my hands and uh, the album version of Oblivion, so oh, they can cool. like kind of compare and see like just how good that recording mm-hmm. actually was. 
So like, yeah, so the second track you guys are going to hear is the studio recording of the live recording from earlier. And in all honesty, there's not really much of a difference. Like, it's, mm-hmm. it's pretty spot on. So, uh, yeah, here, here you guys go. Some Giant with In My Hands and Oblivion. Welcome back again to the Limestone Limelight. We have some giant here. Yes, sir. Yeah, we just heard In My Hands and then Oblivion mm-hmm. and uh, two more great tracks. I, I love the album. It's just got like a really nice flow. Oh, thank cool. you. Thanks. Like this, I, uh, I went to Gann today, mm-hmm. uh, my hometown, and uh, my dad was driving me home. And I was like, oh, dad, you should hear this band that I'm having on the radio tonight. Oh, cool. da 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 And he liked it, too. That's so cool. It, like, awesome. Yeah, I was like, oh, nice. Usually when I show him music, he's like, oh, you young kids and your music. He's like, oh, this is like something I would actually listen to. Yeah, my my parents enjoy it as well. Yeah, it's like a... Like past bands, not so much. (laughs) Like they, you know, could hear the value in it, right? But it didn't interest them. No, it's just like, this is just like genuinely great. Like, I think the way you guys all kind of came together from your different like facets of music... Mm -hmm. It came together for something really nice. Like, I, I really enjoy it. Oh, thank you. Yeah. So, again, you guys are releasing a live album mm-hmm. on September 17th. Yes. I'm super excited. Super excited. Maybe you, you guys could come in and do an acoustic show sometime for yeah, us. Yeah, that would be cool. Yeah. yeah, do a little live performance mm-hmm. and hype the album some more when it's... Yeah, that'd Drops. be great. Yeah. And this one, uh, this album, too, I think, it is it going to have three or four new tunes? Uh, three. Three, yeah. Uh, yeah, songs that have not been released. Um, one of them we've actually only performed twice, I think. Yeah. It doesn't even have a name yet. Ooh. So we need to uh, yeah. title that song before the release. Well, well, it does have a, oh, the working name is Kurt Song. <laughs> Kurt Song. And I think it's a keeper. Yeah. I disagree. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, every we'll band has one later. of those. You know, yeah. there's like Adam Song. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Why not? It can be your Adam Song. <laughs> Maybe. It's true. Yeah. Kurt Song. We'll talk yeah. about it on the way home. Right? Yeah. <laughs> My vote. My vote yeah. is for Kurt yeah. Song. Yeah, mine too. And there's uh, only three of us here, so. And democracy says. Yeah, majority rules, huh? Yeah. yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> It's Kurt's song. Yeah, you'll never yeah. guess the name of the other song. Uh, oh. Well, one of the other songs, anyways. Ah. It's uh, Sean's song. Sean's song. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Yeah, we're going for a theme. I, th- I think you should just do that for the whole album. Uh, that's what I was thinking. We're going to call it, like, my, my idea that I was going to pitch was we should just call it Our Songs. Our Songs. And, uh, I hate it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, <laughs> now, like... Earlier we were talking about your your jazz club you want to open up. Oh yeah 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 Are, yeah yeah. Is, the, is this the, a real thing? No no no. But it should be. It should be. I think it's yep. a great idea. Yeah, that's the the, the dark jazz club. Yeah. And uh, we'll deal with just dark jazz music, and we'll be called the Sax Dungeon. The Sax Dungeon. <laughs> yeah. It's great. I love that name. It's, yeah. Puns are the best. I love it. I love it. So. Uh, Thank, like, thanks for coming in, guys. Oh, thank you for having us. It's been a blast. It has. <laughs> and uh, we have two, I have two more songs to play from you guys. Mm-hmm. We've got Shed My Skin and Falling Out. Nice. And, uh, yeah, that's going to basically do it. Mm-hmm. I'm going to play a few songs from bands coming up on the show. But, yeah, 
Where can people find your music that they heard tonight and really enjoyed? Everywhere. Oh. Mm-hmm. Everywhere. Yeah. Everywhere. All uh, digital streaming platforms. Nice. And Facebook.com slash some giant band. Now, if they go to a show, do you guys have physicals available and any kind not of yet. merch? No, not yet. No. And that's a no. touchy subject. Mm-hmm. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> I, uh, I withdraw my question. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Well, again, thanks for coming in. Thanks for having me. I look forward to uh, September 17th when the live album drops. Awesome. Because that one live recording was, like, spot on. Thank so you. I can only imagine. I, like, I love when that happens. I, we, I had De Trois in here a few weeks oh, back. Oh, Nadia, PC, yeah. 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 And, uh, yeah, it was, like, the same deal, the live mm-hmm. performance. I'm like... Are you guys actually playing in there? You just like got a tape recorder and yeah. pretending to play. Yeah, and with live recordings, you can capture that organic, natural yeah. energy that exists, right? And we're we're really satisfied with the yeah. the studio P- EP we recorded. And but um, the, and doing the live album wasn't trying to you know redo those songs. It was just uh, more like a companion to the studio. Mm-hmm. Album. Yeah. yeah, definitely. And the the way that we did this one too was that we really wanted it to be have the energy of our live shows, but also um, as a fun thing for just to do. So we invited twenty of our, our close friends and uh, packed them all into a little room and <laughs> and then uh, we had yeah just just had fun had yep. a good night yeah, that's the way to do time. it man yeah. that is the way to do it nice that's that's awesome well again thanks for coming in thank we're you we're gonna hear shed my skin falling out everybody this was some giant if you want to hear more of their music it's everywhere everywhere <laughs> except where you look it won't be there but <laughs> oh, it's, no. it's online It'll it'll be the last place you look. That's right. (laughs) If if the last place you look is on iTunes, Spotify, uh, Google Play. Amazon. Amazon. even, which apparently Napster still exists. YouTube? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So we're on YouTube Music. Napster still exists? Napster still exists. That's right. Wow. Yeah, Yeah, the OG. That's crazy. You learn (laughs) something every day. I thought that was done. Okay. Most people did, yeah. 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 Okay, well, here we go. Shed my skin and falling out. Here on CFRC 1019 by Some Giant. Hope you all enjoyed the show. See you next week. Welcome back. So that was some giant finishing off the night. And uh, yeah, it was great to have them in.